So, Molly, just to start here, I mean, I want to look back at the weekend, of, of course. I mean, the most outstanding player, I mean, you shut down for the most part, Alyssa Perella and Hofstra, and then Drexel, one of the top offenses in the country. How did you do it? Um, you know, a lot of credit goes out to the girls that are in front of me. I can't do my job unless the 11 people in front of me do theirs. Um, I think we played a really solid game of defense and top to bottom. We played as a team and they put me in the best position to, um, you know, try to make saves. Yeah, absolutely. And when you see the ball go in the back of the net off the stick of Lizzie there at the end, and then you go and slide in the middle of the field, you were ready to be in the bottom of the pile, it looked like. I mean, <laughs> take me through that moment inside um, your head. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I, you know, like Lizzie scored, the stick was good, and I, you know, threw everything in different directions. And then I don't think I've run that fast in my entire life. Everyone on the team was like, you're looking pretty fast, uh, you know, making jokes about that. But <laughs> yeah, you know, um, it was definitely a game of highs and lows. So being able to finish on such a high, um, you know, ab absolutely surreal. It's definitely something you're going to, you know, one of those moments you remember for the rest of your career. Yeah, that, that, the rest of your life, probably, for that matter, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, and we spoke into, you know, your coach, Shelly uh, Clays, of course, at times. And you're one of the seven that was on that 2018 championship team. Um, and she talked about you guys drawing upon those experiences in different moments and, and asked to tell those stories. What do you remember from that run that helps you today, you know, these few years later? Um, that's a really great question. I think one of the biggest things to always remember is, you know, it is the postseason um, and always play like it's the last time you're going to put your jersey on. Um, and that's something for me, you know, not letting it freak you out as a daunting thing, but almost kind of, knowing that, you know, there, there's no holding back. It's time to go. Um, and also having Haley Warden as one of our coaches, you know, she was a senior captain um, when I played on that team as a young goalie. And um, having her to kind of share some memories with is, is definitely great, you know, coming and being on the road and having some experience in the uh, NCAA tournament is obviously, you know, awesome. But every year is a different year. And, you know, we pull a different straw every year. So just have to make sure that, you know, you go into every game knowing that uh, you just have to compete and put your best foot forward. Do you feel like it's a little bit on you and some of those upperclassmen to provide the example, whether it's that's on game day or in the postseason saying, hey, like this is how we do things around here? Um, yeah, you know, someone I always look to is uh, Emma Johnson, you know, during games, um, always making sure that we, she keeps me cool, level-headed. Emma is definitely, uh, you know, the even-keeled, uh, very calm, cool, collected person on the field. And, um, you know, without her, I think a lot of us would not feel as grounded. So she's, she's definitely huge for us. Yeah, CAA Defender of the Year for a reason, right? Yeah. She's done it for a long time but for you guys and, and in that conference for sure. Um, I want to take you back a couple games because, you know, that the Hofstra loss in the middle of that season was sort of a turning point for you guys. And, you know, some people went in different spots and you guys changed a lot of things. You, you know, was that uncomfortable? But you guys embraced that at the same time. I'm wondering about that moment in your season, I guess, is what I'm trying to ask here and how things changed and how you guys were able to embrace all of that. You know, what went into it? Yeah, so um, that was definitely 100%. You know, you hit that uh, right on the head. It's running point in the season for us. Um, you know, we decided as a program that that game was either going to, you know, be the turning point, you know, make or break our season. And it was going to be on us to, to make the change as well as, you know, having the coaching staff make some personnel changes. Um, and, you know, just making sure that we support each other through whatever roles, um, you know, we're asked to take on throughout the season. And I think, you know, the girls, we did like a really great job in doing that. Uh, and, you know, being able to kind of bring new people in um, and have them just hit the ground running is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, it was cool to watch how you finished the year. It's like this is back to what we're used to. You know what yeah. I mean, right? <laughs> it's trying yeah. to feel the same way. Definitely. And going into this year, um, you did a little bit more, it seems like. Obviously, after 2020, everyone had their season cut short and the offseason was longer than ever. Um, but Coach has told us how you sort of made a little bit more of a commitment to your game and your level and your fitness and all of that. Why was that so important for you heading into this season? Um, you know, looking back to kind of into 2020, I, I think the biggest thing was a lot of people, you know, I, I decided that I was either going to let that time, like, either hurt me or make me better. Mm. Um, and kind of just going into my own mode and being able to focus on, 
uh, you know, something for the first time that was taken away from me. Um, you know, you want to make sure that the next time you play, um, you have no regrets. And, you know, I think looking back, I definitely took some time to mature and kind of reflect on what I really wanted out of the game and, um, you know, what type of um, player I really wanted to be and, you know, what type of player, you know, the coaches kind of were pushing me towards becoming and just embracing that with open arms and really going after it. You know, I'm not going to lie. It was, it was really hard, um, but it was, it's a hundred percent worth it. Um, you know, it's, it's a confidence thing. And I think it also, um, you know, helped me grow like my IQ of the game and, and um, yeah, you know, it took a lot of personal time, but it, it, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, I mean, you some, you're someone who set the bar very high, you, you know, for yourself and the program as a freshman and able to sort of do that year after year. And we touched on it a bit during the broadcast. And, yeah, you were a second-team all-CAA goalie for the first time ever in your life. I'm sure that also provided some motivation for you at the same time, but then you were able to hoist the trophy at the end. I'm sure that was pretty gratifying for you, I'd imagine, knowing all that work that went in. Yeah, you know, I mean, Zoe Bennett, kudos to her. She's a really great goalkeeper. Yeah. She still has a really great season. Um, and, you know, I think for, you know, the past couple of years, um, goalkeeping hasn't been necessarily the most competitive position in our conference. And coming into this year, I definitely think it's um, becoming highly competitive, which is really exciting um, and shows really well for our conference. Um, and, you know, just... I think the other thing too is like, it's not about the accolades. Like I think for us, we know like we're a defensive unit and, you know, we have so many, we have the defender of the year, you know, all those different things. We, we play so well together. Um, so kind of singling individuals out and feeling like, you know, that one person should or shouldn't be a thing I think is um, kind of silly. Um, and definitely, yeah, it's always great to win a championship and, uh, you know, hoist the trophy. But at the end of the day, it's, it's really about just, um, you know, being a better team. Yeah. And, and you've mentioned, we talked about setting the bar and you mentioned the goalie sort of rising. They're, they're trying to, they've been trying to get to that spot, Molly, as you yeah. said, and not only for yourself, but everybody else. And like you said, year after year, it seems like there has been a great improvement upon that. And like you said, making that position more competitive and we've gotten more competitive games and four CA teams in the tournament. I mean, that's tied for the second most of the big 10. Also a, a testament to the, how far this conference has come and grown in the last couple of years, you know? Yeah, um, I was saying to our, uh, one of our coaches, Katerie Linville, that uh, for the, I feel like for the first time in my career, uh, the CAA tournament was really competitive um, that I can remember. And, you know, you don't just walk into a game thinking that you're going to be really kind of uh, finding an easy way out towards a win. It was truly like a battle of 60, 60 plus minutes. Um, and it, you know, wasn't going to be easy, especially because, you know, the way we started our season, uh, you know, we had to claw and fight our way back in and, and, you know, help make a statement with our work ethic there. Mm. Do you feel like right now at this point, you're one of the hottest teams in the co country. You're one of the hottest goalies in the country. Anything can happen, right? Moving forward here, you're in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. You got Johns Hopkins coming up uh, next and with a possible date with the Tar Heels, a rematch. I mean, what's the feeling like? You, how much does that excite you? Um, a lot. You know, the last time we came down to Chapel Hill, we didn't bring our, we weren't able to bring our whole team. We had some girls in quarantine and, um, you know, we, we had a limited travel roster. So, you know, really being able to kind of take this moment, uh, and come full circle, not only for like, uh, across the season, how, how much we've developed and grown as a team, but also the ability to like have everyone here and have everyone really be a part of it, I think is huge. And, you know, just keeping the focus on JMU. Yeah, we have, you know, a really great uh, opportunity tomorrow night to match up with a great team that we usually like would never play in the regular season, which is one of the best things about the NCAA tournament, getting, you know, some new co competition. Um, and then, you know, not overlooking anything, just making sure that we're competing in every play and doesn't necessarily matter who the opponent is, you know, the focus is on us and trying to play our best game. We got here, Molly, right? After everything that happened this year, we're here. I mean, that's got to feel good too, right? We're in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> we appreciate your time. Congratulations on the great season thus far. Uh, good luck this weekend too. Thank you. Thank you.